Hello guys, welcome to the second episode of Photoshop Learning Course. Today we are going to learn adjustment of colors and how to do lightings and change colors, which are the primary tools in this program. First thing that you need to know is that in upper part in image we have adjustments. And one of the important adjustments that we're going to use is levels, curves, black and white, hue and saturation, and color balance. Here I need to tell you guys that which adjustment that you use. For example, I'm using levels here. And as you can see, you can see contrast and the light and shadow and control the density of them. Here this is contrast and as you can see this is an area that we're going to use a lot in our rendering and in our edits. We have some presets also. For example, this one makes it darker and as you can see, it got some presets, light and shadow, lighter, which makes the area lighter, and you can customize it and you can even use these, and they can be used for you guys. The next part in adjustment, and as you can see, for example, shortcut for level is control L. So when you just press control L, you can have that option right away. The next adjustment, which is really important, is hue and saturation or control U. And when you press it, you can control the amount of color that is being used in your picture and the lightness in your picture and this is different with level this one will make the whole picture lighter and in hue you can change colors so if I want to make an area a little fantasy like I can use that in custom we have some preset again just like this. I think for rendering a preset like all the style which has a lower saturation can create something interesting or even sepia. But I have to tell you guys that each adjustment that you use are being used in the main picture and with control P shortcut we can access to color balance and we can change the color to red or cyan or magenta and green or yellow and blue and we can change the tone of them we can change the shadows mid-tone and highlights each one of them separately pay attention just like that and later on in the project that you use you use these a lot for your post productions and if I press ctrl B I will access it just so easily And in next adjustment, we use black and white, which the shortcut is Alt plus Shift and plus Control and plus B. Which, when you press Alt, Control, Shift, and B, you can bring up black and white. And you can use presets green filter, darker, or each one of them. Just test it. And as you can see, it will give you something interesting. 
or you can customize it yourself. And as you can see, you can see the effect on the greenery. We can change the tint and change the direction of the color that is being used in the whole image. So we insert a specific tone inside our area. We can change the saturation of the tint or you can change the color of the tint in hue. And these were the changes that we done. In history, if you look, you can go back to original file. But the important part is when you're editing to do adjustment in a way which you don't destroy your main file. Usually I do control J and do a copy of my main image. But we have an option here in the bottom which creates new fill or adjustment layer. Which will add another adjustment layer on your picture. Which I have to just click it and activate hue and saturation. This one will open here. I would change it to all the side like this. We can apply the next adjustment just like that. We increase the light, increase the contrast again. And here we can use increase contrast number three. We add the next adjustment. We can use color balance for that. And it's practically the same thing that we were doing before here. And as you can see, it created a different area here. And you can turn it off and on any time that you like and remove them. In future episodes, when I teach you guys mask, you can learn how to mix them together. We use adjustment of black and white. Pay attention. And you can use the priority of these layers and create different results. I recommend that you guys work with adjustment tool a lot and see the different result that it will give you. And these were a basic adjustment that being used usually. I like to use another adjustment which is color lookup, which you can activate it here and you have some presets also. And as you can see, as we move downwards, you can see some colory presets, which you can use in your projects. As you can see, it's a decent color effect. And later on, we will learn some stuff about some files of LUE for color lookup and we can use them in our project to enhance our rendering. And as I said before, the thing that you are doing right now is happening in the main part of the picture, which we did it on the main picture. We go back to layer visibility and we can add color lookup without 
it bothering us on the main image. And we can do the same thing over here as well. And as you can see, it's giving you different results. And you can use this in your project as you like. But I want you to pay attention to one thing, which is we have an opacity here, which will change the opacity and density of the layer. So we did the color look up here, but we don't want to do it that intense. So we can change the opacity just like that and decrease them as much as you like. Just a little that we are reducing the colors, not making it black and white. And as you can see, the result is much more interesting and it's really different from the one that we were working on so using adjustment like this can be really interesting if i want to edit hue and saturation i can just click on it and change it just like that so remember, whenever you want to do an edit, you can just do it like that. And the good thing about adjustment at the bottom is that you can change the setting whenever you like. You can turn it off whenever you like, and you can change it whenever you like. And it shows everything that is happening here and as you can see the result is really interesting we can even use curve here and it can give you a really good result if you use increased contrast or use the presets as we saw before and I can create something really good from this and as you can see, it really gave us a good contrast. Colors change in color balance a little bit. And it goes towards red, but we can do the opposite. And you can do it as much as you like. If we go towards the night, it goes towards blue. And as much as you go to light, you can go to red and yellow. We can just turn night to the day and day to night. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and do this practice and I will try to upload the next video as soon as possible so we can continue practicing.